Hello and welcome to this Pricer Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Timber Beams module for timber blocking. To access the timber blocking module, first go to the module toolbar and select the structural members category, and then open the timber beams submenu, and then select timber blocking, and create the module. Timber blocking in this case refers to when timber is inserted into a steel section to create a fastening point for other timber structures, like floors and joists. In our sketch pane, the beam is highlighted in purple to indicate that the beam itself is not included in this estimate. To get started, input the quantity of beams required and the length for each, in this case 8 meters per beam. Under the timber blocking stage, PriceJob has calculated the total overall length of beams required, in this case 32 meters. And that is equal to four 8 meter lengths, since we'll have blocking on both sides of each beam for two beams. We also have an option to only block on a single side, in which case our overall length is divided in half, only 16 meters of overall length now, because the blocking is only on one side of the beam. Then we can select our materials. Just click on the drop down menu and select the appropriate materials. If the material you want to use does not appear in this list, you can select Edit Pack and either search the library to see if the material exists elsewhere under a different name or simply add a new material. Here you can enter the title of the material, the units, the price, the category, and the website link. In this case, we will just stick with a standard material and price job automatically calculates the installation hours required to set in position the timber infill. And this would include the drilling and the fastening of the bolts. Next, we'll take a look at the fixing stage. And here we can specify the type of bolts we wish to use, either high tensile bolts, coach bolts, or a threaded bar. In each case, we can select the drop down menu to choose the material we wish to use. And if we choose a bolt that's too short, Pressure job will trigger an error to let us know that this bolt is too short. The beam thickness is 57 millimeters. The bolt is too short. So we'll just go back to our drop down menu and select a more appropriate length. And that clears the error. Likewise, we can do the same for coach bolts and for threaded bars. In the case of a threaded bar, we'll just input the stud length manually. In this case, 100 millimeters would be more than adequate. Then we can specify the spacing. This is the spacing of the fixings on the beam. Based on a spacing of 750 millimeters, we'll require 28 fixings. If we were to increase the spacing of these fixings, say to 1000 millimeters, it would decrease the total number of fixings required to only 22. And as we've been making our changes, Price Drop has been automatically generating a description for all the materials and labor required. These descriptions will appear on the customer's quote as a summary of work to be completed. And that's how to use the timber blocking module. Thank you for using Price a Job. Mm -hmm.